Growing up in Bristol, I could never have imagined that my old hangout, the Bristol Mall, would become the site of a casino. I was born and raised in Bristol, Tennessee, a pretty conservative part of the country. Lived here about 20 years. I left for college over 30 years ago and lived in other parts of the country before moving back here in 2019. I really hadn't noticed all that much of a change in Bristol while I was gone. Now sure, downtown Bristol went through a transformation. The NASCAR track had expanded and now held over 160,000 people. And like much of the country, new shopping centers had been built to replace the old malls and the Bristol Mall being no exception. But overall, Bristol really hadn't changed all that much. If someone had told me in 1989 that there would one day be plans for a casino here, I'd have left them out the door. But I would have been wrong. This is Scott Henniger with the Home Team. Kim and I are in love with the Bristol area and we specialize in helping out of town buyers make the move. We're here to give you the scoop on what Hard Rock has planned for us. After years of planning, a lot of political lobbying, and public information campaigns, on November 3rd of 2020, the residents of the city of Bristol, Virginia, overwhelmingly voted to legalize casino gambling, which paved the way for Hard Rock to develop the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, which I think is going to change Bristol forever. Now, I'm not here to debate the morals of gambling or whether this is overall good for the community. I'm here to pass along information and opinion from my perspective as a 15-year veteran of the real estate industry and a Bristolian that's lived elsewhere much of my life, but is now back. I was practicing real estate in the Chattanooga area when Volkswagen decided to build a huge production line, bringing thousands of jobs, plus a lot of real estate speculation with it. I have a pretty good handle on the impacts we might expect in our area. Since the 2020 vote, Hard Rock has been working on all the required permitting, the architectural design, the engineering, etc., and very soon the region will begin to see the initial impacts. Before the main casino and the hotel are built, a temporary 30,000 square foot casino will be put in operation and it's supposed to be up and running by the second quarter of 2022. The temporary casino will be located in what I think is the old Belk or JCPenney store. Plans are for 900 slot machines and 20 tables for some different gambling options. There will also be a new restaurant, a sports bar, a lounge, um, a sports book, and a Virginia lottery office, plus some retail space. Now, my opinion, opening a temporary casino is a very smart move. It gives Hard Rock not only time to complete the bigger project while bringing in revenue, but also gives the area some time to adjust. The permanent casino expected to be completed between mid-2023 and early 2024 features a 90,000 square foot gaming floor and the whole project is expected to cost about $400 million. It's going to house 2,700 slots, over 100 gaming tables, and Hard Rock's plans also include a 750 room hotel, seven restaurants, four bars, a 50,000 square foot convention space, and part of the facility includes a 3,200 seat performance venue plus a 20,000 person capacity outdoor entertainment venue. A project of this magnitude located in the Twin Cities with less than 45,000 residents between them will be game changing. Per Hard Rock, the project will eventually create 2,000 jobs once it's fully operational in addition to 1,500 indirect jobs. Hard Rock anticipates that the temporary casino will create around 600 jobs. Last I checked on their jobs page, there were 88 job postings online. I assume more will be posted as time goes on. But if you're looking for a job with them, visit their website. I've posted a link in the description below. This brings us to the casino's impact on the real estate market. I see this as a twofold issue. Firstly, speculation about nearby properties and their potential for either commercial use or as Airbnbs. Secondly, something we need to think about is how many people from out of the area will the casino bring in and where will they live? Months before the Volkswagen plant was even announced in Chattanooga, I had people asking me how much their property would go up in value if the plant was built there. And many of them had dollar signs in their eyes thinking they were gonna get rich off the sale of their house. Well, it didn't happen. A lot of apartments went up during the long construction phase where it seemed many of the workers lived since they were only in the area for a couple of years, then moved on. 
Early on, the majority of the impact was on the rental market. As hiring began for the permanent positions, I can remember several new subdivisions popping up in the general area, but no huge ramp up of prices. There were quite a few out of town workers that had to find a place to live, but the impact on the local market's values wasn't as significant as most people hoped it would be. I have a feeling that we'll see something similar in our area with the casino. Sure, commercial development will take off in the immediate area, especially on Gate City Highway and West State Street. I'd expect to see some impact in 2022 and 2023 as the reality of what's coming becomes more and more visible. Once people actually see the impact of the temporary casino, I think we'll see more and more planned commercial development in the area. I also expect for investors to begin trying to buy local housing in order to use it as Airbnb housing for those guests that don't want to choose the hotel. Matter of fact, we worked with such an investor last year. Now, how about the local housing market? Like most of the country, Bristol's housing inventory is too low to keep up with demand. I'm recording this video on February 26th in 2022. This morning, there were only seven active listings in the entire city of Bristol, Virginia for sale and 15 in Bristol, Tennessee. If you expand outside the city limits, you'll find more, of course, but to give you some perspective, we would need over 150 active listings right now, based on the current sales rate, to be in a balanced market. How will the casino affect this? Well, it depends on how many people from out of the area decide that they want to come here to work. If only local people take every job, then no significant impact. However, that isn't what will happen. I looked at the job postings on Hard Rock sites, and many of them are asking for experience in the casino gaming environment. Obviously, these positions aren't likely to be filled by Bristol residents, which means out-of-state people coming to town. They'll be looking for housing, and that will put a strain on an already low inventory market. Expect local home prices to rise even more. We've already had one buyer from Nevada that's going to be looking for housing in the next couple of months because she has worked in casinos for a long time and wants to get to an area such as Bristol. I expect many more to follow as the casino progresses. We'll be posting updates over time so you can keep an eye on the casino's impact to the area. If you want to know more about Bristol, take a look at the next video, which lets you know whether Bristol really is a good place to live. If there's anything we can do to help you, reach out to us anytime. This is Scott Henniger with the Home Team. We're exceeding expectations, whether it's your first home or your last.